Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ. New and updated mods have been released on the Mod Hub for Farm Sim 22. In total, we've got 22 mods today, 15 new ones for all platforms, and 7 updates. PC and Mac players got nothing. In today's video, I will show you some new mods, plus their customization options, and I'll also review all the mods that got an update. Starting off today with a mod that you guys have been asking about for a long time, the John Deere A from EY Modding. This is going to cost you $14,000, has 34 horsepower, manual transmission, 68 liters of fuel, 13 miles an hour, and it weighs 2.3 tons, if that matters to you. Wheel options bring us BKT, we also have Michelin tires, and back and forth. BKTs, we have a regular, then we go with a wide rear axle, wheel weights, which, there you go, there's your wheel weights, and wide twos, we also have rear twins, and back to standard again. Michelin brings us a standard, a rear axle wide, wheel weights, wides with those weights, and then rear twins. If you guys want chonks, then you need to go with the Michelin. And then attachments, we have a front attachment, which is a ball hitch. We also have the addition of a three-point link around the backside. You can do both, and then you can jump back up to standard. Very, very cool. As far as the tractor goes itself, I think you guys would probably kill me if I didn't let you hear it, so check it out. Next up, we have the John Deere 6M Series from Agrar Design Austria. Now, this is not to be confused with the John Deere 6M, the John Deere 6M, or the John Deere 6M Series. This is the John Deere 6M Series. Make sense? <laughs> it's got $109,000, uh, 110 horsepower manual plus power shift transmission, 175 liters of fuel, 24 miles per hour. Engine, we can bump that up from a 110 up to a 120 and back and forth between the two wheel options. Go from Trelleborg, we also have Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Bratistein, and Nuckhead tires. We have a standard wheel weight, wide tires, wide weights, uh, rear twin narrows. We also have uh, rear twins and twins all the way around. And narrows back to standard again. Starfire option, we got the 6000 or nada. Front loader option, yes and no for that John Deere front loader and a license plate. Next, we have the MAN TGS Agro Pack. These are going to start at 130,000. So we have a single regular axle in the back or a double. A double is going to be 180 grand, so another $50,000 more. As far as everything else, though, it's basically identical with the um, six or the three axle version getting a better kind of starting horsepower at 480 versus 400. So we will show you customization on this, even though they're both the same. So we have an automatic transmission, 400 liters of fuel, and it goes 37 miles per hour. This is the aggro truck, not the uh, road style truck, I guess. So maybe that explains why it goes so slow. Weights, we have a standard weight. We have, uh, well, one, which weighs, uh, looks like 200 kilograms. And then we have weight number two, which actually adds a weight to the fifth wheel on the back. A little confusing there, but that's going to add another 700 uh, kilograms. Then we could do both, which adds a total of, I think it's like 1.2 tons. Pretty crazy there. Engine options, we have the 480. We also have the 480 normal, which I'm not quite sure what normal means. Nothing's changing. Uh, and then we have uh, 500 horsepower, normal, 510 and then back down again. Wheel options go from Trelleborg. We also have Lizard as well, Continental, and uh, BKT. And all of these look to be super singles as well. And you can really go crazy with some forestry and heavy terrain tires. Very nice. Warning signs, we've got small, 01, 02. So front sides, design with the line design. Very cool, like that. Uh, truck Tat, Truck Tattoo, uh, <laughs> MAN design. And back to standard warning signs big we've got a couple different ones through here so you can take warning signs small and warning signs big and 
really make this thing stand out and people will be able to see it just fine. Fenders, we got a couple different ones for the back there. If you guys want those, main color. So here's your color palette, neon yellow. Goodness gracious, I love that. So there's your full color palette there. Design color, let's see if we can go with that. It's gonna be your plastic bumper on the very front. And of course, rim colors are rim colors. We do have chrome if you like that. And we have the beige color as well with everything else being well, base game colors. That's not the only MAN we've got because we also have the TGS Agri version, not to be confused with the Agro version. So let's take a look at this. $119,000, 500 horsepower with a manual transmission, holds 400 liters of fuel, and it goes 51 miles per hour. So full speed ahead. Designs, we've got a couple different designs here. As far as livery options go, it looks like design three is probably gonna be a white design because I don't see anything changing on that. Wheel setups, we do have a standard tire or wide tires. We also have the TPC on there, wide with the TPC, and back to standard again. So that is kind of cool to have all of those multiple options. We'll stick with wide tires today. Attachment parts, we have plastic or painted. We'll stick with painted there. Lamp guards, we've got a couple of those if you want them on your front lights. Exhaust, so we have a straight or angled exhaust. Beacons, we have the LED orange, or back to default again. And we have the LED white, which flash. Very cool there, I like that option. Wind deflector, you do yes or no on the very back of that. Flashlights, not sure what. Oh, literally lights the flash. Cool, so strobe lights in the grill, that's awesome. We'll load that up and take a look at those. Trailer hitch, so we have without addition. Oh, is this gonna be on the front? Yeah, it is on the front. Uh, that It's funny, without it, it weighs 9.2 tons, but with it, it weighs 8.2 tons. I don't know how that works. Uh, with the bull bar, you've also got with rear hydraulics, that's right, a rear uh, multiple hitch with PTO and three point. That's pretty darn cool. And you could go with uh, all of those setups if you would like. Main color on here, here is your color palette. Let's go addition chrome gold, baby. And then additional parts, we will just go with rice red for whatever reason. Actually, is there a red chrome? Yes, there is. Uh, front bar color. Let's go with red chrome for that as well. This is starting to look like a really bad Power Ranger. And then we have rim color themselves. Uh, is there any more just like, oof, that shouldn't be a chrome color, but it is? Yeah, we'll go with that. Why not? Let's uh, let's load it up. I do want to see these lights flashing. So, doesn't look like they load up. Hmm. Well, let's pull up the help window and see what we can get a hold of here. So we've got toggles, strobes, everything. Okay, so they do work with uh, with the, the strobes on the top. It's just really difficult to see them if you're not right on them. Back here, you can't even see. So just a heads up there. Yo, one thing though, look at this. So. From back here, you can't really see much, but the amount of light that these things are putting out, it's daylight. Look at that. Holy cow. A powerful machine. You may remember back in Farming Simulator 19, we had the LS series from NASA Money. Well, it is back again. We have the LS 1938, or just the LS series all together. This truck right here is going to start you at $290,000. Got 380 horsepower, manual transmission, 310 liters of fuel, and it goes 74 miles an hour. Quick boy on here, axle configs. We had the 4x2, 6x2, 6x4, and then back to the 4x2 again. I'm guessing a lot of people will go with 6x4, so we'll customize that today. Decorative stripes, we've got a couple of those in different colors. We have a couple different exhaust options as well, which are down at the bottom. Bumpers, basically yes or no. You got a body kit on there. Air suspension, yes, we're gonna take a look at that. Here is your color palette. Uh, let's go with a uh, matsy purple. Yeah, there you go, design color. Let's go with yellow metallic. And then for the grill, uh, stainless steel, of course, why not? Fenders, I think a uh, weird orange would probably work there. And for rims, let's go with MAN blue, just for the uh, just for the meme there. All right, let's jump in here and let's see what we can get ourselves a hold of. So open cover, and it is going to kneel all the way down. So much in fact, that it almost looks like the front grill goes into the ground. Uh, there is no other way to do that, so it's just gonna be uh, setting it manually. Not bad though, 
This is a pretty cool truck. It sounds good too. Next, we have something just super epic. This is the wood crane from Kenny456. This is the one that we showed off on Farm Some News a couple weeks ago. It weighs 36.2 tons and it comes via a trailer. So design, we have extended arm or we have standard. We're gonna go with the extended arm because why have one when you can have two main colors. We do have a single uh, custom color. I think we'll use that. And then rim colors, this is just gonna be for the trailer itself. So let's get ourselves one of those. Let's get a pickup truck and let's take a look at it. Did I say pickup truck? That is not what I meant at all. So the crane itself, it comes via this trailer. However, what we're gonna do is we are going to unfold it once we get into an area where we can unfold it. So let's take it up here. I believe it's more of like a placeable that you buy that kind of unfolds. It's supposed to be a really cool thing. So let's see how cool it is. We'll drop it there and we will unfold. So you can see right there, it is showing where it is being built and we could actually drive this around still. And then there we go. The crane has been loaded as it were. Um, I don't know if we can come through here and reload it up. It says fold wood crane. And there it is. Okay, so I've unfolded it. I'm actually gonna take this trailer away. We don't have uh, straps on here or anything. Actually, fasten tension belts, no. I mean, it's showing, but it's just not there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this over here. It says fold wood crane. It's uh, folding it, and now it's putting it right back on here. So this is a, oh, I'm gonna put it over, back over there again. That's not weird at all. How cool is this thing though? That was awesome. Let's go over here. I wanna know what this spot is. I don't know. Well, is what it is. Let's enter the vehicle. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's see, do we need to turn it on? Nope, the engine is just already on. So this is gonna allow us to move around and do uh, logging. Probably a lot easier for you guys. You can actually set here. Do what you need to do. We've got up and down, side to side. And then of course we've got all of the motions for this. This is a very large machine. I mean, look, just look how big this is. I think you could probably pick up about a half of a, uh, half of a full crane load, if not more than that. We do have a couple options for views as well. So of course you have your uh, third person outside view. We have a first person view. If you would rather do that and then we have a crane view as well reminds me a lot let's go and we're going to stop the engine there did the truck just turn off yo okay so i kind of I, I i see i see i see how they've been able to do this it seems like you will have to keep things uh close by but you know what this is pretty cool man this is pretty cool indeed let's fold it up <laughs> That's awesome. Now, making our way over to some tools for all platforms. First was the Doors Farce Fixmaster 335, as well as the K Brandon FB3135. This mod also includes a Cavernaland wrapper right here. They say especially adapted to the Bela. So, let's take a look at this. Four ton weight, 85 horsepower, 10 miles an hour, and it'll do 125 centimeter round bells. Nothing bigger than that. Trellebork, Michelin, BKT, Vredestein tires. We can do standard or wide tires. Attachment, we have low trailer. We have high trailer. Wrapper attacher, yes or no. So that is what you want right there. A round baler, which will do wrapping attachment. Silage additive tank, of course, yes and no. We could choose a bunch of different Dois Far colors as far as a rim color as well. We've got basically base game gray and not. Go and get one of those. Uh, looks like the K brand thing on here. We've got a couple things that are different. So, for example, the decals, attachment type is the same, wrapper attachment is the same, and looks like all of our color options are the same as well. As far as the Cavernalin wrapper, this will do 125 or 150 centimeter uh, round bales, even though the balers will only do 125 themselves. Wrapper design we have with bell on the end turner. So, if you don't want it to roll away, get that. Brands, we have Cavernalin and Vicon, so you could do that. That's kind of cool like that. And then foil colors, so you guys can choose what kind of foil color you want for that. So we'll load up, uh, let's see, we'll just grab a Deutz Far tractor of some sort right here, and we'll show it to you all hooked up. This should be a very, very easy setup. It's just, you got a round bell, 
and then you've got a round bell wrapper separate in the back now we do have some all-in-one pieces so this may not be you know perfect for your scenario by any means but back it up hook it up unfold that unfold the baler and now we're ready to pick up round bells as they pop out cool next we have the barrack Acker. I'm not going to say the rest of it because uh, I feel like I'm going to get in trouble. Uh, these are rollers and then we've got a uh, shallow cultivator on there as well. Let's talk about what it does. So 60 horsepower, 6 meters at 11 miles per hour. That's on the roller. And then as far as your uh, cultivator goes, 100 horsepower, 6 meters at 11 miles per hour. Same setup for the wheel setups. There is no hitch on the back it looks like. Um, so these are just going to go out to the field, unfold, and get their respective jobs done. Now, if you need something to go along with your McCormick tractor, or maybe that John Deere A that came out today, EY Modding's also released their wheeled roller. So this is a 40 horsepower, 3.4 meter working width, at 12 mile per hour roller. Here's your wheel color option. So we'll just jump over to John Deere, main color rather. Unfortunately, the wheel, no color options for that. Hopefully in a future update be able to change the roller color and the wheel color one of the great things is with this is it is small so therefore you can use basically a mega low horsepower tractor with this and be just fine your next one is the euro low loader platform this bad boy right here is going to cost 45 grand and it is nine tons design we have standard and with a spare wheel it's going to be on the bottom main color this is your main color palette we do start with green now i'm not sure if this is one of the main colors or not uh, but you know you can take a look at that and then rim color we don't have black but we do have white white number two which looks exactly the same silver base game gray and we do have chrome as well would be nice to see uh just like with the uh the main color if we could have every single color option just for more players to be able to utilize this but hey it is what it is. Next new one for all platforms is the Lizard 95L. It doesn't hold 95 liters. It actually holds 6,000 liters on here. And that is bulk crop. So whatever you want to throw in there, as long as it's solid, you're good to go. Well, brands include BKT. We also have Continental and Trelleborg. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. What you see is what you get with those. And that's about it. And we've got a couple placeables as well for you. So the first one of those is the Large Machine and Implement Shed Pack. Uh, contrary to popular belief, this is not a pack. It is just a color changeable shed. It does have the lean to on there, which is very nice. Single button door opening. It says there are, I think, 12 sets of lights inside. So you've got that. I'm guessing that is going to be this. Oh, it goes up and. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. All those are for the outside. Oh, so these must be for the inside. <laughs> Maybe the sounds glitch out just a little bit. So we've got a couple big doors. So two on the ends, one on the front and or side, however you really want to throw this around. And then, of course, as we mentioned, we got that lean-to. we got lights under here as well. This is a really nice building. Factory time, baby. The Tyrolene Dairy. Right through here. Can we go in? Maybe. Or maybe not. Well, that door opens, so that's good. Oh, so maybe we just can't go in the front. Well, uh, here is your dairy. Very cool through there. That door doesn't open either. All right, so we got your dump. And then we've got this. So it is cheese. Milk in, cheese out. It is a three to two. And it does uh, 912 of those twos every month in game. All right, look. This, this is just pretty sweet right here. So these are the concrete slabs. We've got a couple different slabs, and they are done like fences how cool is that um the there there is a bit of an angle to these if you uh, want to do an angle uh you will have to just be careful ish but yeah it's like pathways that are done via fences that's awesome. And our last new mod today, the Grass Dryer from Raging Reapers. This production dries grass and turns it into hay. It only costs 10 grand and it's going to have a 250,000 liter capacity in and out. Uh, it will do 360 cycles per month in game and it'll do 1,000 each of those cycles. So that's pretty good. Um, production costs per month, 120. It's not awful. Um, this is a really 
seemingly inexpensive way to turn grass into hay um, without having to really do it, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, dump everything over here on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side. That's where you get your hay out. And making our way into mod updates for all platforms. The first one is the map, Old Land version 1.1. A new save game is unfortunately required for this to take place. They fix problems when placing through the water tarp, and Chicken Coop has been replaced by a cow coop. Next up, the Dominator Old Gen Pack version 1.1. Improved the sounds, adjusted configuration prices, Dominator 85 has been added, the C450 Cutter has been added, fixed indoor lighting behavior, and changed the mod icon and name. And here is that Dominator 85 that was added. On here we have 120 horsepower, a variable transmission, 500 liters of fuel, goes 13 mile per hour max speed. I wouldn't expect much more than that. It'll hold 5,000 liters of crop. As far as Will Brands go, we do start off with Lizard, then we jump up to Midas and back into Lizard again. So we have Standard, we got a nice big wide tire and back in again, and then Midas are exactly what you get there. Warning triangles, yes and no. I'm guessing these are going to be on the very back. Yep, there they are. Chopper, you can add that tailboard. A beacons, we have roof set up. Double roof, roof and back, du du double roof and back, or none of the above. Roof setup, you could do yes or no, so an open cab with no cover or an enclosed cabin. Main color, so we have a couple different green options through here. That's pretty nice. And then we've got different rim color options as well, depending on what you go with. And again, we also have that header as well, which will match everything. This has a 4.5 meter working width at 6 miles per hour. Next, we have the Fit 900 S4 version 2.1. Vario grip has been added. They say it's only static, not functional. The roof hatch can be opened now. The front axle has been lowered. Warning signs have been made foldable. Turn signal lever has been animated. New textures added. New lights installed. And they added standard colors in the basic color configs. Yesterday, we got an update to the PC only version of this. This. Today we have an update to the all-platform Lizard Berserk P30 version 101. The unpainted part has been corrected, added a hitch configuration for Agrimass SR300C drill, and the description version up to 72. Your next mod update for all platforms, the Concrete Bunker Set U version 1.1. Removed all double silos, so the not functional as intended in FarmSim 22. The ground collision has been fixed, and the silo area has been adjusted for CP compatibility or crossplay compatibility bunker silo mode. They do say, important note, if you plan to update, empty all double double silos that are used and sell them. Uh, the double ones had to be removed due to missing possibility of refining more than one silo area. Not present anymore from the base game. So, therefore, jump in there and get that taken care of so that you don't mess up anything. Your next to last update for all platforms is the Cow Shed Pack version 101. They added a small cow shed. Price is $50,000. Daily cows 20 bucks per day and it holds 20 cows. And your very last mod today, an update to the Fruit Greenhouse version 1.1. Added olives and grapes to all trailers, wagons, shovels, and the farm silo for better transport and storage. The old 10 entries have been adjusted. Swap fertilizer for digestate for more more uses of digestate, added lighting, and pallets have been expanded so that only bulk material comes out of the greenhouses. How cool is that? Great update. Big update in general. Man, oh man. And here is that cow shed right here. The $50,000 20 head of cattle place. So open it up right through there. We could buy our cows right here. Again, 20 head there. We could buy our cattle or not buy them, but well, we can buy them all the way in here. Weird. Uh, you, you could get your milk and then dump your food out. And then I believe this is going to be your slurry input right through there. Now, as far as everything else, it does look like we have an opening here. And yep, we can even open this up. Might be kind of cool to utilize this and make like a, you know, a, a pen for them almost. I don't think they're going to walk outside this building, but it's eh, still pretty cool. And then let's go up to the top. Of course, getting stuck there on the roof. Watch your head. Hopefully this doesn't knock us off. Nope. And we can walk in the top very easily. So you can put in bells, stuff like that. With only 20 head of cattle, probably be pretty easy to uh, store most of their food upstairs. Well, guys, that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like on it and get subscribed to the channel if you are new. If you missed the video I've done earlier today talking about the Platinum Expansion Update 1.3, Definitely make sure that you take a look at that. We got two new things in there, plus a lot of updates to things that fix problems players have been having over the past few months. So 
definitely check it out. Link below. Otherwise, just hope you have a great day in general. We'll see you later. Peace.